What's up, family? How's everybody doing? Hopefully, everybody's having a wonderfully blessed Thursday evening. This is your boy, Jaime G, coming at you to let you know what's going on in the wild, wild west. Hopefully, you guys had a blessed day and stayed safe, chilling, wherever you're at in this beautiful, magnificent world that we live in. Guys, before we dive into the content, I just wanted to briefly share a little bit, a couple things. Guys, you know, I made this channel for my viewers and my subscribers so that you guys can be up to date on the latest and greatest on what's going on with Dogecoin and the overall crypto markets. You know what I mean? I didn't make this channel to hopefully uh, get, you know, thousands and thousands of subscribers. Now, if that happens, cool. I appreciate I do. I appreciate it. But I made it because, for one, I like to talk. <laughs> Two, I made it for you guys, right? Because to keep you guys informed on what's going on for the new people or the OGs, whoever it may be that's watching my channel. I never once have asked you guys uh, or even shared an affiliated link down. I don't even put them down in the uh, descriptions. Ever. I don't ever ask you guys to click on the links because I don't even share them, guys, because I didn't do it for that. I do it because I like to make content on crypto, you know what I mean, and like to share with you guys and help you guys to be informed and hopefully help your pockets get fatter. None of this is financial advice. It's just me sharing my thoughts and opinions, nothing more, nothing less. But I hope this channel does help every single one of you guys out, you know what I mean, because my goal is to hopefully become a millionaire, a crypto millionaire, guys, in five to ten years from now. I'm doing this for the long term okay i know things don't look good right now our, our accounts are getting hit it looks shitty it hurts stop looking at your account straight up stop looking at it you know what i mean i look at my account every once in a great while i don't stare at it all the time why because that could that can uh discourage you guys it can really be discouraging you know what i mean i'm saying that from experience you know what i mean so for one stop looking at your accounts two remember why you're doing it and three you gotta have strong convictions in crypto or stock market or whatever it is that you're investing in you know what i mean you got to have a strong conviction in why you're investing and always know that you know whatever you invest in you could possibly lose it guys you know what i mean you could possibly lose it as well all right i just wanted to share all that briefly real quick before we dive into the content let's just get it guys all right guys dogecoin is sitting at uh 18 cents right now we are down 6.4 percent for the day 24-hour high sitting at uh, 19 cents and our 24-hour low is at 18 cents market cap is sitting at 24.26 billion dollars and the 24-hour volume is at 1.06 billion dollars all right let's get into the chart real quick and see what's crack lighting here all right guys i like to keep it easy breezy on the technicals you know what i mean I like to show you some technicals but just keep it very uh very uh user friendly very beginner friendly you know what i mean all right guys so this is a daily chart of what we're looking at so every candle represents a day so now i have two red lines here as you can see guys okay so the bottom line it will start at the bottom line that is the 200 day moving average guys and that is our level of support now and that that is sitting at 17 cents technically it is sitting at points uh 1777 but for me, that's 17 cents, okay? So I'm calling 17 cents as our level of support. As you can see, we almost uh, we almost hit that today, guys. We almost tested that level of support. We didn't, but we almost did. So 17 cents is uh, our level of support, and that is sitting at the 200-day moving average. Now, now, you see the red line on top, guys. Now, that is the 20-day moving average. Now, we have been testing it we have we have not been able to break above this um 20 day moving average of level of resistance for months guys for months not months for uh weeks weeks upon weeks guys we have tested this level of resistance and continuously get rejected i'll just give you a quick look on the chart here As you can see here guys you know what i mean we've we've came close but we always continuously get rejected the only one time that we have passed this is when we hit uh 44 cents right that was about two months ago we had briefly ran up to about 44 cents guys right and we broke past this uh 20 day moving average but it only took about three days for us to retrace and dip below this level of uh of resistance at the 20 day moving average so guys our level of resistance is sitting at 22 cents okay so as you can see it's technically at 0.2277 all right guys but that's 22 cents so the key takeaway from looking at this chart guys is level of support 17 cents new level of resistance 22 cents okay guys that is a key takeaway on uh on the technicals like i said i like to keep it easy breezy now let's we're gonna close out with uh uh some fundamentals here we're gonna look at a you know at, at a positive article here guys that uh 
you know, we should be happy of, you know, because it talks about how Doge in quarter two of uh, 2021, Doge is up. Uh, hold on, guys. My setup is messing up. Doge is still up, guys. We're still up. Um... 392%. Sorry, guys. My stuff is um, messing up on me here. All right. Here we go. Come on. My uh, thing is acting slow. All right, guys. So now it says triple digit gains. All right. It says triple digit gains made make Dogecoin and Ether Classic the top performer of Q2. Not Bitcoin. Not Ethereum. Not Polkadot. Not BNB. Dogecoin, guys. Now, that is a very, very positive catalyst, right, guys? That is positive news. Obviously, it's not going to help push the price up today or tomorrow. But nonetheless, guys, as a Doge soldier, as part of the Doge community, this should make you proud, guys. And we, You know what I mean? That out of all these coins, and, and for Dogecoin being, you know, from what it was back in 2013 to what it is now, from just a meme coin, a joke, to what it is now there's over 1400 companies that accept it as a form of payment guys you have the dallas mavericks the oakland a's you know what i mean the the, the freaking the uh the names are endless right there's over 1400 right over 1800 atms where you can go put fiat in and then you can get dogecoin in return you know what i mean but that's a whole uh different topic now but the point i'm making guys is i can't stress enough how how positive this is to show how far we have came as a community as as a coin okay now it says in early 2021 bitcoin and ether price was the center of attention as as assets seem to hit a new all-time high every 24 hours and traders called for a 1000 uh, bitcoin and 5000 ethereum fast forward to the present and both assets are still more than 40 percent down from their all-time highs and the bulls calling for unbelievable price targets are no nowhere to be found right because a lot of people have turned bearish now it says recent reports from coin metrics reviewed the performance of bitcoin and altcoins during q2 of 2021 and the analysts found that even with the sharp may 19 market correction many assets finished the quarter in green with dogecoin coming out on top as number one baby with 392 gains now they even give you a breakdown here look guys bitcoin red bnb red polka dot red bitcoin cash red uniswap ave Right, guys, all of these big powerhouse uh, altcoins in the red. And yours truly, Dogecoin, finished number one, guys, on top. Uh, better than good old Papa Bitcoin. You know what I mean? That is saying a lot, guys. We have came a long way. You know what I mean? So it's one of the biggest de uh, developments during Q2 was the Ether price breakout from, well, okay, now we don't care about it that. I mean, we do, but I'm not going to read about that, guys. Now, then it says, as a result of... As a result of the retail surge, the number of addresses holding at least one ETH... Okay, no, 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 no. I'm going to continue to read about Dogecoin, guys. Now, it says, as, Don, as mentioned earlier, the best performance in Q2 came from Doge. It ranks number one, baby, for Q2 in altcoins. It says, which managed to finish the quarter up 392% despite a 66% decline from its 74 cent all-time high set back on May 8th. That's why they always say, guys, when in doubt, zoom out. You got to remember, you got to have a strong conviction on why you're investing you know what I mean? And the temporarily, yes, we're temporarily on a downtrend, guys, but it's temporarily, guys. Now, for how long? I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball to tell you, right? Nobody can. If they can, they're freaking liars. Nobody can tell you, right? All we can do is make assumptions and guesses, right, guys? That's all we can do, right? But nonetheless, 392% for Q2, even though with the 60 cent per correction, guys, if you bought at a, a decent price, you should be sitting in... uh up over three a uh, 3x that's over a three almost a 4x guys of your investment you know what i'm saying that is huge that is a huge return right if you put a thousand then that's four you had five thousand you know what i mean or four thousand i'm sorry guys yeah if you put one thousand two three four yeah you would have so if you put one thousand two thousand three thousand four no you'd have f almost five thousand dollars guys sorry my math was bad i had to use my fingers <laughs> don't make fun of me anyways guys what i'm saying is this is still a good freaking asset to invest in in my opinion now none of this is financial advice so don't take it as that all right guys so anyways this is what i had guys and this is what oh i'm sorry i wanted to finish off with this paragraph now it says according to the report the number of addresses holding at least one doji increased from uh, 3.09 million in april uh, 1st to 3.7 million addresses on june 30th right guys so from april to the uh beginning of april so basically two months guys you know what I mean? There has added more. So what does that tell you? People are still buying and still believe in Doge and are still 
accumulating and there's still new buyers buying doge right it says as a result of the gains made by altcoins bitcoin dominance fell to 45 percent on june 30th its lowest level since july uh 2018 all right guys now this is all what that i had for you hopefully this video was useful and insightful hopefully you stayed with me to the end if you did kudos to you and thank you maybe you can give your boy some love and give me a thumbs up if not don't worry about it i don't deserve it anyways right and that's not why i do it anyways right i just do it because i like to run my mouth <laughs> on youtube all right guys don't forget i'm doing a giveaway 300 crypto we're almost to 1,000 subscribers so stay tuned on how we how i'm gonna uh do the giveaway you guys stay blessed and stay safe your boy Jaime g is out till tomorrow peace